Let's take what we learned last time about conveyors and wooden platforms to make modular arithmetic. In this simple example, we have two states. We have 0 and 1. Currently, it's at 0 presses. Now we pressed 1 time. And if we press again, we would be at 2, which modulo 2 is 0. To have more, we need to handle states. Here we have an example of modulo 4. Currently, it's 0. 1 press. 2 presses. Three presses and four presses brings it back to zero. So the way we build it is we start by moving it towards the zero. Then once the player switches it, we want it to get stuck on one. This is, means they're gonna be blue, so we have to do it like this. Then once we hit the switch again, we want it to move, which is red. We want to move it into this block. And then when the player presses again, these will turn blue again. So we want to move it into this one in blue. If we press the switches too fast, it will actually reverse. Surprisingly, we can also get the same states using only conveyors instead of blocks. Uh, the wooden platform will be jerking out. If we want an uneven amount of states, then we need to put a switch at the end and make sure the wooden platform is aligned to hit it. Now we have state 0, state 1, state 2, and state 0. Another advantage of using yellow conveyors is we don't have the state reset anymore. Real fun begins when you have multiple of them. We have one here, that's modulo 6. And we have the simple one, which is modulo 2. And last but not least, we have one with modulo 4. The goal is to get this wing cap. And so you have to line these in such a way that Mario is able to climb. And once they're aligned, we can climb up here. Climb up here. Long jump over get woman kept and with that happy building math contractions